This just in, earlier this morning, the Vancouver Canucks have recalled Sam Gagne from the Toronto Marlies. And if you're wondering about that statement, yes, he wasn't sent over to the AHL's Utica Comets. He was sent over to the Toronto Maple Leafs farm team, the Marlies, because he's a guy, he's pretty old, he's got himself a family over there in the Ontario area, and it would have made sense to loan him over closer to where he would have been able to spend time with his loved ones. But earlier today, the Vancouver Canucks recalled Gagne. And overall, this was a thing that a lot of people on Twitter I saw were like, oh my goodness, what the heck? We're bringing him back. But I think everybody's kind of got to take a step back a little bit here and actually try to understand the value in this, because I, for one, think that this is a pretty alright, not bad move. And it's something that I didn't even really consider up until the point that it was actually done, because the Vancouver Canucks right now are on a really bad losing streak. I mean, it's not technically bad if you watched the game yesterday. I think that was a pretty alright game. But just looking at the numbers and everything purely based off of that, this is a bad losing streak. And the Vancouver Canucks are in a position where Bo Horvat's getting charged over there with faceoffs. He leads the league in faceoffs taken and faceoffs won. He also leads the league in faceoffs lost, which is not a surprise. But going over everything that we've done so far, the bottom six isn't necessarily in a position where they're doing all too much. Bo Horvat's in a position where he's being charged a lot with the faceoffs, and our defensive pressure isn't necessarily at the best place that it could be because if you exclude the Montreal game, we just gave up five, six goal games like candy to a whole bunch of other teams. So Sam Gagne is a guy who got sent down to the Utica Comets, or not the Utica Comets, the Toronto Marlies, because his preseason performance was really, really weak. And he got beat out by other guys like Tyler Mott and Elias Pettersson in the Vancouver Canucks lineup. And because of that, Gagne has already said himself, yeah, it's a wake-up call, you know, all that. He's got to work really hard to come back over to the NHL. And that's basically what he did, because with the Toronto Marlies, Sam Gagne's at 15 points in 15 games played, second in points only to Chris Mueller. He's been really good over there with the core of players that the Marlies have, Kelly Rosen, Carl Grundstrom, Pierre Engvall, Timishov, former Canuck Adam Krakenel too, but... He's now coming back, and I think this is fine. This is fine because, first off, the Canucks have nothing to lose by bringing up Gagne. This is fine because Gagne is a guy who can play center, he can take faceoffs, he can lighten the load off of Bo Horvat. And this is important because our top three faceoff guys are Beagle, Sutter, and Horvat. Two of them are out. Which means that guys like Pedersen have been in that position to take a whole bunch of faceoffs, and Pedersen hasn't really been all too good at winning draws. He's been good at everything else, it's just that faceoff dot is the one thing that could probably use a little bit more work. Sam Gagne is a guy who can already do that, and he'll lighten up that Bo Horvat number one faceoff man in the league load. So, he also provides a bottom six presence because, let's face it, would you rather have Sam Gagne on this team, who's getting himself a point a game in the AHL, who's gotten that revitalization from being in the AHL, and from getting sent down to the AHL, instead of guys who are kind of not in the best positions to be producing at the rates that we expected them to, like a Brendan Leipzig, for example. That's just throwing it out there. Some of these guys in our bottom six currently, they work really hard and all that, but the results just aren't coming out of it. And a lot of these plays that we've been seeing are plays that were like, man, you could have made a little bit of a better play right there. So I think we have nothing to lose by calling up a guy who's already experienced that wake up call of getting sent down to the AHL and he tore up the AHL and he's going to help Horvat with faceoffs and he's going to be a good bottom six guy to help out our depth. Sam Gagne is back on the Canucks, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tour of applause on the Shore Sign Gaming. And bye.